Welcome back to my channel, where today I will be showing you how to set the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog up on your computer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so make sure that these are plugged in, because I know the first match I do doing it, I forgot to plug them in. But, that was just me. So, once those are plugged in, you uh, want to make your way to the Thrustmaster Support this. website, so it'll be HTTPS. Sasash thrust mat thrust mat or no support.thrustmaster.com. You could yeah, you can also just go to thrustmaster.com like that and just click this. Then you want to go to joysticks. Now this depends whether you have only the I don't know what's taking long. The uh throttle or just the uh the flight stick, but if you have both of them, just go to this. Then from there, you want to go to drivers, download this, and in software, you want to download this. Firmware, uh, that's just package. So those are the things you need. You can also download other stuff if you want to, but that's just the basic stuff you need. Once. You have downloaded them. It should look something like this, but it just depends on your desktop. Uh, both these will pop up. So you're going to want to go into Target Script Editor. If you want to, it's just to, well, edit the script. Target GUI, that just shows all the stuff you have. And it might lead you to some stuff to download, but for the Git firmware right now, you can't get firmware, at least I can't for some reason. So right here, yeah, it says get firmware. Can't. And then, uh, you should, it should pop up here. But if it doesn't, you're going to want to go into device, uh, device manager. And see if it pops up here. Uh, you just have to look around until you see, like, controllers or something like that keyboards I don't remember exactly where it is because uh, this only happened to me one time but it should be around here somewhere in here I'll make another video on that surfily upload so then from there uh, say you play DCS so I'm gonna go ahead and load DCS up and show you now that you are in DCS you want to go to training or not training, but mission after the mission. And then what I do is I press A to get to the uh, plane menu quicker. It's just a lot easier for me. And uh, yeah, it just pops up planes. A, click, put the A10, C down, or whatever plane you're going to use. Make sure the skill is clear. And then what I'll do is I'll do take off from. Um, the parking lot and this is where I check my you can press yes if you're going to save it. Uh, this is where I check a, a lot to make sure before I like fly a mission that my throttle and flight stick are working properly and I'll show you how to do that it's just simple things also uh, there's a little lever thing on the on the throw, uh, yeah, throw. All right, and you look down, back, forward, left, right, just bit all around. And then for my throttle, let's see. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna. You can also check your rotors. I don't know if I have those plugged in. Oh, my rudders can mess with this. That's funny. Yeah, that's my rudders doing that. You can't see it. But yeah, rudders can control throttle. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed, please like. And bye. Have a great day. Sorry for a bit of a late upload. It's only a day late.